Today, the Subsite University team will walk you through our simple process to re-terminate the Syncon cable properly and efficiently on your utility inspection system. First, identify the damaged portion of the cable that needs to be removed. Damaged cable is defined as an electrical break or physical damage to the cable that causes the camera to lose connection. This damage is commonly caused by a kink in the cable within a few feet of the bullet. Gather all the tools and accessories necessary to re-terminate the cable prior to beginning this process. These include a Dremel tool with cutting disc, 9 16th inch wrench, half inch wrench, pliers, adjustable wrench, 5 32nds Allen wrench, 7 64ths Allen wrench, wire strippers, a small flathead screwdriver, electrical tape, purple Loctite, Loctite thread primer, razor knife, and a subsite bullet retermination kit. Refer to your subsite parts catalog for the part number. Now, remove the cable grip using the 5 32nds Allen wrench. Press the E stop button to power off the reel, and then power off the controller. Clean and prep the cable. Use a shop towel to wipe the cable clean. If there is more significant debris, use a small steel brush to remove it. Apply Loctite primer to the threads on the ferrule body and nut. Now you can begin the retermination process. Locate the damage on the cable. Measure 5 inches from the damage toward the reel. This is where you will cut the cable. Measure another 3 inches from the cut location toward the reel and wrap black tape around the cable to prevent fraying. Using the Dremel, cut completely through the cable to remove the damaged section. To remove the outer braid, score the cable with a Dremel tool while walking around the cable and using the tape as a guide. Once scoring is complete, remove the outer braid as shown. Repeat the same process to score and remove the inner braid. Once the inner braid is removed, check to ensure that you've created a taper. If not, carefully taper the cable without damaging the black jacket. Next, install the cable grip behind the black tape and remove the tape from the cable. Carefully score the black jacket one and a half inches from the end of the tapered cable taking care not to cut the cable underneath. Set the ferrule nut by turning the nut clockwise onto the cable about one half inch. Here are the ferrule body and bullet. The next step is to install the ferrule body onto the bullet. Slide the crush washer fitting onto the cable, followed by the ferrule, ferrule body, and bullet. Then hand tighten the ferrule body onto the ferrule nut. Slide the cable through the ferrule body and the bullet to seat the ferrule. Apply pressure and push the cable toward the bullet until the ferrule is seated. Remove the bullet from the ferrule body and unscrew the ferrule body from the nut. 3 16ths of an inch of the braid must stick out of the ferrule. Ensure the ferrule is seated properly as shown. Loosen the cable grip and slide it towards the reel. This creates space for the metal sleeve. Slide the metal sleeve onto the cable with the screw holes nearest to the cable grip. Apply purple Loctite to the threads of the ferrule nut, then insert the cable through the ferrule body and tighten. Use the 9 16th inch wrench to hold the ferrule nut while using the half inch wrench to tighten the ferrule body. To avoid water intrusion, install the washer and O-rings to the end of the cable. Reassemble the bullet and the ferrule body. Use a half-inch wrench to hold the ferrule body while fully tightening the bullet using the adjustable wrench. Loosen the block screws to remove the terminal blocks from the bullet wires. To remove the black jacket, bend the cable at the score, then use the pliers to remove it. Separate the copper shield from the center conductor, then twist the copper shield together and trim any excess. Remove the center conductor jacket carefully using the 1.6 slot on the wire strippers. Twist the center conductor wire and trim any excess. Install the terminal blocks to the center conductor and then the copper shield. Reinstall the bullet wires to the terminal blocks. Connect the center conductor to the brown wire on the bullet and the copper shield to the blue wire on the bullet. Carefully slide the metal sleeve over the bullet, taking care not to damage the O-rings. Line up the holes in the sleeve with the holes in the bullet. Power up the system and send power through the cable. Turn the multimeter onto DC volts. With the notch on the bullet facing down, insert the red lead into the upper left port of the bullet, 
and then insert the black lead into either of the other two ports. Voltage should read between 95 and 110 volts. Apply purple Loctite to the Delrin sleeve screws, slide the Delrin sleeve over the bullet, and install the screws. Now, simply screw the pigtail on and you're ready to begin your inspection or replace the connector cap for safe storage. For more instructional videos, check out our YouTube page. And remember, our support teams are always happy to assist you at 1-800-767-1974 or 1-859-499-0122.